What are you getting done today, bro? So I'm gonna do a low drop fade with, okay. the, with the line that uh, connects with my eye bracelet right here. So okay, you it. already have it there? Yeah. Okay. No, so, yeah. Yep. Stop here? Uh, yeah. yeah. And, and then do you want anything on the top? No. No? Just keep right. it top. Yep. Cool, man. Let's do it. Appreciate you coming in, man. Appreciate it. YouTube, what is going on guys? How's everybody doing? Today we are doing a pretty challenging haircut into this longer, these longer curls. Um, I'm starting to cut off with clipper of a comb just to give myself the shape that I want to flow into the top. Um, and then beneath, once I've created that shape with clipper of a comb, beneath that I will do my clipper work. So my number three guard close is going to kind of almost freehand into the clip over comb that we just did. Um, it, I am going to use actually do a number three flat on the sides because that's what I want to do a low fade into a number three. But I want to make sure that everything above the number three is flowing nicely and um, there's, no, there's no disconnection. So it's a little bit of a challenge, challenging part and that's why I start here. All right, so I went ahead and started with the design because this is gonna be a, 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 a fairly easy way to guide my blend beneath it, right? Um, so he wanted it to start from the eyebrow and flow into the side of the cut. And if you notice this line that I'm creating, it's just matching the perimeter or the baseline of the cut. So the longest, um, you see how like his hair just contours his head shape anyways? Well, this line is gonna contour that. So I, I hope you didn't get lost or oh, that that makes sense. The perimeter is the longest length of hair on the sides. And that's usually right around the parietal ridge. And the ridge is where the top of the sides of his head starts to curve into the top of his head. So anyway, there's two lines with any design. And so if you notice, I detailed the top first and now I'm starting to clean up the bottom part of this design. And all it's gonna be is just a lot, like pretty much a part or I don't know how, I don't know what to, to call it, but you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, so we, we're going ahead and we're going to go straight to a one and a half guard. And that's what we're going to use right beneath that line. And, and then we're just going to stack guards. So from the one and a half guard to the one guard open, one guard closed. And if you follow the color chart on the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see the next guard underneath the one guard is the half guard. And then after that is just the blade and we're just literally going right beneath one another until it's blended. So if you notice, I'm still at my one guard. I'm at my one guard closed. No, it's still open. Tito, let's get it. All right, so it was closed and open and now we're using our half guard um, and that is about halfway open and we'll close it little by little right look how look how high i'm going i'm literally stacking these guards right beneath each other you have to do that if you want a clean transition because if not it's going to be you don't have that much space to fade here right so if not you're never going to get to bald on the bottom if you don't stack these these guards or these levels so now so we just did the blade open and now we're closed and this should finish a bunch of the um, um, the blend, but then you gotta go back in detail like I always do. So if you notice, I'm kinda, it's okay to open it back up in case you create too much of a line. But you can see it's starting to come together. And if you notice, I'm going section to section. Like I'm not trying to blend the entire haircut because I feel like with these lower compressed blends, um, you can get lost. It can get uneven if you try to do the whole head around the whole head. So I'll do one side flowing almost into the back and I'll do the other side flowing almost into the back and then I'll connect it by, by actually fading out the back.
So for the most part, the side is done and I'm just going back to, to certain guards to detail. I'm trying to keep beneath that design dark so that once we line it up with the razor and everything and we really detail that line, it really starts to pop. So now we're starting to, to bald out, actually bald it out, and we will use the shaver, but if you notice, I'm actually balding it out above the ear. Where I notice a lot of these lower compressed fades, a lot of guys don't really bald it out, especially above the ear. All right, let's go ahead and clean up the C cup, and this is gonna really make this little blend pop, I feel like. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna do the other side, and we're pretty much using the same strategy. Now, every everybody everybody don't have the same um, hair texture or the hair growth pattern or hair density on both sides of the head. So even though we're using the same system, we will have to adjust throughout the process. So I'm going one and a half guard and freehanding into that number three. And then above that, we'll use that number two. And what I meant to say is freehanding into that bulk that we created with Clipper over Comb. Once we've done that, we'll go to our one guard. It's all the way open. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're going to stack these guards and blend down. Now, guys, if you are part of the Tomb 45 Academy, um, there's we actually uploaded this video a few days ago, and it's 45 minutes long. I do screenwriting annotation and it's it's more more detailed it's not like these videos are edited for the YouTube algorithm um, on the Academy we can take our time and um, if some of you guys fall asleep it doesn't kill the channel <laughs> you know what I mean? but if you want more detailed um, go check out the Academy the videos under my page um, because we have five educators on the on the platform but if you go to my page you'll see this just scroll all the way down and it's like 45 minutes long so at this, we went through the one guard open, one guard closed. Right beneath that, we did the half guard. And if I feel like at any time there's some bulk or something, when I'm doing these type of fades, I go ahead and clean up, clean it up right there and then because it's really easy to over detail with these cuts. Whoa, what does that mean? Over detailing, like you can, you can trust the system, you know what I'm saying? And instead of finishing the system you might be stuck in a specific spot that completely throws off the entire cut because you spent too much time on that spot instead of moving on and, and coming back a little bit later so you never want to over detail until the fade is done but I do want to touch up some things that I know I can clean up during the process all right so now we've done the half guard so now we're at the blade all the way open and we're going to close it little by little until it's all the way closed and that that section is blended then we'll move over to the left and start the same thing blade all the way open close it little by little until it's blended if you got to hop back to that half guard because you created a line go ahead I just really want to make sure that as I'm going through the, these steps, my my final step is actually using the clipper closed behind the ear and above the ear. If not, then I spread out I spread out each of my guards too far apart, and I'm not gonna get that blurry compressed low fade that I'm looking to get. Hey Tito, I'm feeling this one, bro. I'm feeling this one. All right, so like I told you guys, we do the left side, the right side, and now we're gonna bring it all together back here. And we're gonna start with that one half guard. Just making sure that, you know, that we have something to fade into. 
Beneath that, we're doing the one guard open, then one guard close. As you can see, but below that, we're going to our half guard. Hold on, we still at the number one. I'm kind of going back, opening and closing it. Because if it doesn't look good, don't move on to the next guard just yet, right? So I think I might have not recorded the half guard, but for sure I used the half guard. Now we're using um, the blade open and closing it little by little. Yeah, and here's the half guard. You can see how the back flows nicely into the sides. And especially in this part right here, this is where a lot of people leave this area too much stubble, not really balled it out, so it doesn't connect to the back, doesn't flow that nice. So I, I like to make sure I detail this area a bunch. Yep, right here as well. And I've, I've never cut his hair before. Keep that in mind, guys. All the 99% of the tutorials you've seen this year, like my first time cutting their hair. So it goes to show, man, that if you have a system in place that you, you know, and you stay disciplined and follow that system, um, you could really get through a lot of different haircuts, man. And as you're you're sticking to that system, you'll know when you need to make some adjustments because of somebody's certain head shape or hair texture or hair growth pattern, right? I think that it's important to watch as many videos as you can, practice as many techniques as you can because we're all built different and um, we all have different preferences and different techniques work better for each individual. You see what I'm saying? So there's no one, one way to do it, but watch a bunch of videos, guys. Doesn't have to just be my channel and develop your own system. Get to the drawing board and develop your own thing that you feel comfortable. That way you'll be consistent and efficient. And I'm just doing some last minute details here. Putting that shaver at the bottom of the fade because we still using the shaver to get this thing as gradient as possible. This right here is tough to do to get it to float to the back like that. Just a fan of the barber game, man. All right, so <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put the razor on them. You can get the 245 triple cartridge razor at 245.com. When I go against the grain, I always put shave gel. But notice what I'm doing here. I'm doing trim over comb just to get some of that hair off of the design so the design stands out more. Now we're doing clip over comb because I just felt like the back was sticking out a little bit too much. And of course, we're going to use the no drip. You can get it at 245.com. Guys, look at the before. Look at the after. Now, you guys watch the process. It didn't need color, but that color did bring, make, bring it out even more. I, I used just a little tiny bit so it looked natural. And guys, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you thought about the cut. Smash the like button, all that good stuff, guys. Thank you, guys. We're doing five videos a week.